Alright everyone, it's time for a third video. A quick update actually on the search for someone to develop a website and stuff. Apparently in my first video I didn't make a couple of things clear that I probably should have. First and foremost, there will be two links in the description of this video cross-platform to archives of my old website, tarlwarwick.net. That's basically, if, if you want, because I've had about a hundred fucking people ask me for this, I can't even go through the moms, I do apologize for that. It was an oversight on my part. That's basically what I'm going for. So like links at the top in, in some similar style, just the Ouroboros logo, then the merch store, and then, you know, basically something that collates my blog posts from Blogspot and or WordPress. And then you get the about and legal shit at the bottom, fairly standard. Some people showed me websites that look similar, so I know you can build them. Um, to be clear, I'm not looking for someone to perpetually maintain the website on a salaried basis. Some people were throwing five-figure totals at me. What I want is simply the website to be made. I need access to it, and then down the road, if there's a problem with it, I can always consult you and pay you freelance down the road. Otherwise, I can handle paying for it and managing it myself. As long as, as the merch store is there and the third party is taking care of it, that's hands-off. Um, the links aren't necessarily going to change. I could probably go in and figure out how to change that myself because it's kind of self-explanatory. I have a very limited knowledge of, of websites and coding, but probably enough for the most basic applications. I just can't build the site myself. As far as merch, basically, if you know a third-party vendor like a Teespring-style thing, you could take the Ouroboros logo and I would give you the okay to create the files and get it up and going, again, that takes care of itself. Um, so this is sort of, I'm paying some thousands of dollars, I'm aware of the budget involved in website creation, uh, to have it made in such a way that a lot of it's automated. Um, again, there could be freelance stuff in the future, like if I wanted a fan art page added, I'd have to probably hire the person again, and I would prefer to work with the same person continuously. So if, if a person's into that potential future work thing but wants the one-off now that's sort of what I'm looking for and so a lot of people they, they seem to have wanted to become like a permanent site manager that's not I, I should have made this clear that's not actually what I'm looking for um, so take a look at those links uh, I had almost 200 people message me I can't even look at all of the stuff so so this and by the way some of you weren't US citizens but you're like well yeah but can you make an exception no I can't for legal purposes I simply can't so if you're a US citizen you're into that sort of one-off. You develop a website, get it registered, hand over the keys to me. Potentially in the future there's more work. That's basically what I'm going for, and you can re-DM me on Twitter. Just renew the, the direct message and I'll see it. Uh, that should take care of about three-quarters of the people actually that sent in content because it doesn't conform to what I actually need. Uh, and I, again, that's my I apologize because I shouldn't have... I, I probably should have elaborated on that in the first video. <laughs> Whoops! A little bit of an oversight on my part. Uh, so yeah, if, if instead of 200, it's like 20 or 30 people, I can get more into it, and I can like look at the website samples. I looked at some of them; all of them look good. It's it, all of them would you know tick the boxes that I need. So keeping that in mind, that's sort of what I'm looking for. That's about all. Peace out.